Hi, I'm Sharma Kern with Thai Healing Massage Academy. Welcome to Thai Massage Tips and Tricks. Today I want to show you a technique that I have been using very effectively at the end of fairly intense sequences. So let's say for example you work on the hamstrings or on the back, you do a lot of strong work and a very nice way to conclude one particular sequence is percussion. Now in Thailand traditionally people do I guess you would call it percussion they put their hands together and they do something like this. Personally I don't find this so effective. It's a little bit harder to do and, and mostly they just kind of do two or three times. I'm not a great fan of this. I have developed another percussion technique that works much, much better. And I'm not just saying this, but many clients told me it feels really, really nice. For that, you use your fists. Now, you don't really make strong fists. You keep your hands open a little bit. And especially, you have to keep your wrists loose. If your wrists are tight, it feels, you know, like a sledgehammer. It feels terrible. So it only works if your wrists are totally relaxed, your hands are a little bit open. And then you can use this in many ways. I'm going to show you how to do it. You do one hand after the other, like this. You have to maneuver your body in a position where you don't have to lean forward. In other words, a comfortable position. I do that by moving my center of gravity a little bit closer. So now I don't have to lean forward. And now I just lightly tap out of a loose wrist up and down her back. I'm working on the far side of the spine. Of course you want to be careful not to hit on the spine itself. That wouldn't feel good at all. And you can do this for quite a while. You can do this for half a minute, one minute, two minutes. As long as your wrist is loose, this will feel very good. You can also go down and work on the sacrum. And you can go down, work on the glutes. And you can work on the hamstrings. In the prone position, these are the best areas to use it on. The back, the sacrum, the glutes, and the hamstrings. You don't just have to do it from one side, you can also straddle someone, and then you just do it on both sides of the spine. If you're working on a tall person and you are fairly short, then you just have to make sure that you place your foot forward so that you can move back and forth very easily. If you're tall and your client is small, which is the case in our situation here, I don't have to move much because I can easily reach her back. But if she would work on me, then she really had to use her body to move back and forth. So that's another nice way of doing it. You can even do this on the shoulder blades. Now I'm making circles on her upper back, going over her shoulder blades. You can also work in the area right between the shoulders and the neck where the trapezius muscle is. Go up and down, sideways a little bit. And you can also use this technique in the side position, and I'll show you how. So let's take this pillow out. And lie on the side. I'll use a pillow for support. And now you can work on the side of the hip, also with percussion. You can even use it on the inside of her leg. So it's a very effective technique. 
it is a totally pain-free technique as long as your wrist is loose. If you do it jackhammer style, it would be quite a painful technique. And I use this mostly after I'm done with a fairly intense sequence, working on the hip or on the back or on the thighs, whatever, and then I end with a percussion movement for half a minute or even one minute, and that relaxes everything. You see, the effect of percussion, it is stimulating for the whole body, and you feel a rhythm that's almost like a trancey rhythm. You can put people to sleep by doing percussion like this for a while. And I've always found that people enjoy it, and many people, they just go into a trance, they fall asleep when you do it. So it's a very nice way to end some intense work in a particular sequence.